looks like some rain could be headed toward the Outer Banks area as Tropical Depression 8 formed over the weekend. We've been following a high risk for rip currents for swimmers in the Outer Banks and at the oceanfront all weekend. Jason Marks is live in Kill Devil Hills with our team coverage of the tropics. And Jason, folks in that area are kind of pros when it comes to these storms. How are they getting ready? Well, yeah, absolutely. They are used to this, uh, these sort of storms, and I can tell you that they are just kind of watching things. They're not out actively going out and uh, getting stuff from the grocery store or boarding up windows. We're not going to see that with this storm, but I can tell you that they're keeping an eye on it. They're cautious, but they're remaining optimistic that they will not get a lot from this storm. We take a look here. We're in Kill Devil Hills. We're standing on the Avalon Fishing Pier. And you can see the water right there. It, the waves are starting to build. As you mentioned, Katie, the red flags are up. They have been up all weekend. Uh, there is no swimming here uh, in anywhere uh, on the Outer Banks right now. On Hatteras Island, there are no red flags. But I'm, but I'm told that um, what they'll do is if they start to get a lot of people who uh, they start rescues, what they'll start to do is they'll have trucks drive up and down with the red flags. But it's a very dangerous situation right now in the water for swimmers. Obviously not so for fishermen. This is Doug Haber. Doug, you live in Nags Head. Tell me what you're expecting from this storm. Well, usually when the storms come up here and come out the coast, it doesn't cause too much trouble for most of the residents here. But the people, you know, in Kitty Hawk and, the, and Hatteras down there, they can get nailed. And flooding's really a big deal. What else besides flooding? I know beach erosion is also a big issue here. Other than flooding, I mean, the winds are not expected to be too bad. 70 mile an hour winds, you know, start having roof damage, but I don't think we're going to get that. And I, th I think we'll be okay on the wind side, unless it's an old structure. It's amazing because I, I come down here for every single storm, and it's amazing the hours before the storm, how beautiful it is. Oh, yeah, it's always gorgeous right before. I love being, you know, being here for so long. I love being here when it's uh, right before that storm. Everybody clears out, and you got this beautiful sunlight today and the air is kind of warm and moist. Yeah, it's the same way every time. I love it. And Doug. then it gets gray. <laughs> and then it gets nasty. Doug, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, we will be here throughout to the next couple days for you. My colleague Andy Fox is also headed down this way to the Outer Banks. We are going to go out and check things out on, on Hatteras Island, and we'll have an update for you starting on Wavy News 10 at 4. Of course, beach erosion going to be the major issue with this storm. Katie, now back to you. Absolutely, Jason. Thank you. We'll be watching that closely. And we will have full team coverage on this tropical depression on Wavy News 10 at 4. And for the latest information, make sure you download our Wavy News weather app. We'll also have coverage on this depression for you on wavy.com.